Hey guys, we're back. Alright, so if you remember last time, um, and I barely remember, and it's only been a couple days, um, we just defeated two dwarf stacks, so we're going to go ahead and upgrade our heroes and lords. Um, immortality, who wants to live forever? As it turns out, most beings wouldn't say no. So we're going to give immortality to our necrotect. Uh, we're going to get lightning strike. Time to strike is now for King Remect. And then Senyutep, we will get magical reserves. A few magic users have the ability to store the winds of magic for later use, increasing their spellcasting power when it really counts. All right, <clears throat> so that's good. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and... I, I'm not gonna trust, so anytime I have even close to high casualty rates in my units, I try not to auto resolve because I feel like auto resolve picks on you more for that um, even though this should be fairly easy and straightforward so uh, isn't Malekith such a nice guy kill their soldiers kill their wives kill their children their cattle and livestock but above all kill with pleasure there you go that's, that's so nice so kind All right. Oh. Oh, 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 I don't know, winds of magic are going down. Alright, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to even use the bats. We could. But I don't want them to get injured. I'm going to send, we're going to send the tomb scorpion off this side. Let's <clears throat> freeze right there, Arkin right there. And we're going to do heavier lines instead of full across and we're going to maximize our ranged okay. Okay. and doop alright let's go uh, you need to walk you need to walk okay I want to see I've never watched Arkham Hall Oh my. So his horses are still running, but he's just moving super slow. That's interesting. Alright. Don't shoot Arkin, that's rude. Alright. Um, yeah, let's shoot these quarrelers. These quarrelers are panicking because they see their doom approaching. And we're going to send, I'm going to send all the front line. Send a tomb guard at those guys. Get the miners. All the miners. Here we go. Alright. Go. And now what we can do is we can send Arkin in. There's like a, just a line breaker. Uh, let's use on the miners. Alright, nice. Nice, nice. Okay. Shots as possible. Okay. And go after those miners. Get the miners. Come on, break them. Break them, break them. Come on, before any of these guys come back. There we go. Alright. That should do it. There we go. Alright, good. Barely any casualties, but again, I don't trust auto resolve. Oh, one loss. Nice. Wonder what they killed. Probably a Nehekarian warrior, but they're weak, so. Normally, I don't like to use regiments of renown <clears throat> this early in the game, but because they're nice, like, 
emergency units, but I feel like this is like we're kind of in an emergency where there's three separate powers trying to take us out and we need to balance that <clears throat> and the biggest problem is right now that uh, the dwarves are right next to our, our uh, capital city so technically if they wanted to I mean they could just go west um, just gonna occupy the city. You are not him. So that Arkin can My master will return. Uh, juice up. Ooh. We will take the eyes of the desert, so we're gonna take another regiment around. Arkin is just constantly fighting, so I mean he just kinda needs to. Um Remect. I believe if Remect goes that way, the Bretonian shouldn't be able to reach him. Give him another flyer and a spearman. Um, all right, wizards cut leaves palace. Still needs five turns. Al Haik. Okay, one turn until we can upgrade its walls again, or garrison, I should say. Um, so, oh, who gained levels? Oh, everybody in Arkin's army gained a level. Um, yeah, we're gonna continue down the sun scorched bones just make our tomb guard really really good and and the Hikaran warriors I mean obviously they're not nearly as good as tomb guard but Eternity they serve a purpose and at least for now um, yeah we'll go Nehru's incantation of protection sword blows are mysteriously turned away as Petra's wife reaches out to shield the warriors from evil so that's nice physical resistance plus 44% that's pretty nice That'll be really nice uh, fighting dwarves, so they don't have much uh, magic damage. And then, over my dead body, plus speed and hit points. Um, so that'll be nice for our uh, Necrotech to be a little beefier on his chariot. Let's see now if the dwarves will sign a peace treaty. Because if they sign a peace treaty now, that's it fine. Is time. You dare oh approach a Are you serious? Like, you have nothing. You're. Oh my god. You're so stubborn. Could wake the flock of Jaff. Heavily in my image. My name is Jaff. Um, we're skipping it for now. Let's see what the Bretonians do here. I am curious. I am curious. And I'm curious to see what uh, prospectors do as well. Your petty politics do not concern me, mortal thing. Your bones will be dust soon enough. Do you think he knows, like, he's talking to an undead faction when he says that? Um. Okay. I mean, no. Like, because, no, your strength rank 98. Get out of here. Garbage. Um, canopic jars or gold, I will take the gold, thank you. Um, the heat bleached bone warriors of grim countenance watch over the battlements, watching for foes through hollowed sockets. Um, so let's see, okay, so that did pretty significantly increase the garrison, and what does this go from? Yeah, that's a nice boost. So it gives us a set of skeleton warriors and another Ushapti. I mean, it's really expensive for that, but you gotta do what you gotta do. But let's, you know what? I, my bad. Let's upgrade Kofer. We're gonna want these upgraded, that upgraded harbor. Hmm. Or should I? We just focus on Al Haik. Focus on Al Haik. Okay, and then. Alright, so I this Bretonian is probably chomping at the bit to get at us. Oh, I really want to.
to see what they have, but I don't have them do. Do I? I don't have capacity for another hero, correct? Of any type? No, I don't. Son of a gun. Alright. Well, I tell you, in two turns, I can research another hero type. Find my Until heart. then. You dishonor me. I mean, we kind of need to take this guy out, right? So. What? Uh, but I can just, I can feel that we're so close to taking out these Dowie. I can feel it. Oh my God, he's got so much. I was so wrong. Uh -oh. Okay, so this guy, he's got one. This guy's got one. And I, the Panther, has. Okay, okay. We, you know what, guys? Uh, we, we can do this. Oh my God, we can do this. All right. And then what we're going to do, where are, where's the road? Okay, we're going to sit here. Ambush chance 90%. So we're going to ambush. And hopefully he doesn't have a ton of knights. Because that would be bad. Um, Martech, I don't care about upgrading right now. I believe we're good to go unless... Yeah, no. Nobody, uh, level up. All right, and then... Okay. Let's see. Let's see what the next move is. I, I bet such... Oh, there he is! I, I knew it. I knew it. and rat dude oh of course you have a military alliance now you scumbag All right. Do not betray your oh my king. god he's got a tomb scorpion two sets of ushapti my dynasty uh can i and he's not within okay legions move whatever I'm gonna never tire. go into Al Haik because I mean they should be able to hold. King of oh my god! Oh my god! Two tomb scorpions. <sighs> That's awful. My master will That's awful. All right. <laughs> Do you Don't wanna... cut me in your oh. true language if you must. I make no promises as to the outcome. Lord of Bortoke, will you give me peace too? Oh or not, I will my god. Alright, let's do it. Valiant let's do it. Lord. You know what? Whether chivalrous or not, yes. I will Yes, peace. Thank you. One right. And how about you? you dare peace. Approach a Lord on them. Thank you. I should have extorted money out of them, but I... I don't care. King let's of see. the vampire. Do you want to trade no with pawn. me, dude? I will end you. Who no, you? you're a jerk. All right. Do you guys want to trade now that we're buddies? Come then, messenger. No. All right. So we officially scared the pants off of uh, off a of set off of um, the Bretonians and the dwarves. So now all we have to do is take out this guy, and then we'll go towards Cetra. Okay. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Oh god. That's besieging us. Okay. So this is, I mean, this is still going to be a hard fight, even with, even when he's going to be massively outnumbered. Uh, that sucks. Growth or casualty replenishment. Abandoned Sphinx. Despite the best efforts of our chief necrotech, one of our tombs has started to sink back into San Angeles more before giving up its illustrious arcane secrets. If we do not act quickly to shore up its entrance, we risk losing everything we have thus far gained. So should we reinforce the workers or the troops? 
Possibly our laborers have not worked hard enough. The swelling of their numbers and some encouragement with the last should better align their priorities with our own. Or reinforcing the contingent guarding the sinking tomb would show prudence. Our troops will ensure that the pyramid remains above ground. So these are backwards, by the way. That's um, those quotes are backwards. But uh, let's go. It's servant sacrificed. All right. And now our tomb guard are better, which is good. I am going to, what should we do next here? Let's get, let, let's get, um, another Necrotect. The Tomb Princes are very good, but I, you know, not right now, I don't need it. Um, Make way, fools. Find my heart. This guy, oh, now you're running, now you're running. Like a little, you know what? All right. Greatness comes. Land of the dead. Uh. Yeah. Arise, my legions. Rise. There we go. Got him. Thirteen hundred gold. Make Don't mind if I do. Him. All right, nice. Cetra the perishable. Oh, that was Cetra. Oh, nice. So this guy got uh, Cetra's bonus as well. Um, and we're gonna stay right. Okay. My servant fails me. Okay, nice. Oh, this is this is shaping up nicely. Now that we uh, quelled the uh, Bretonians and the dwarves, for sure, for sure. Oh, right. Haik. All right, nice. Oh, right, level ups. Um, all of Arkin's army again. Nice. Uh, let's finish off Sun Scorched Bones. So plus 12 armor and plus 8 melee defense for all Tomb Guard. Better Nehru's Incantation. And um, let's do Devastating Charge for the Necrotech because he's got a chariot. I alone shall restore. Um, Legions withdraw. See. I mean, I think we could take it. Return. But we retreat. We'll just... Oh, will be okay. Mine. Let's fight it. And then after this, I think we'll call it. I'm kind of digging the short episodes. I get very tired at night these days, and um. Nice little short episodes gives me a little something to look forward to, but um, not a ton of pressure to to make a super long video at once. So it's nice. All right, so we will uh, we will use our flyers as best we can here, because that's where our superiority lies. Otherwise, we're fairly evenly matched, and we have a magic user, and they don't. Oh, and we got seven extra wins of magic. That's nice too. Put all our carrying right there, and then whichever way they try and attack, we're ready. Okay, and then Tomb King right in the middle. He's gonna have to come to us because he attacked, and we have the same range. I mean, I don't want to make it sound like uh, dude, super. Cool. All right, that's enough for that. I'm just gonna keep the carrying like right there. Oh, these guys can fire. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's fight, boys. Go 
tomb guard halberds go get the chariots all right here we go Take out these chariots. Alright, and uh, we're gonna use this right here. That'll be nice. That works. Sudden. All of a sudden we're looking pretty good here. Um, upgrade our two king even more. Because why not? Uh, let's see. Is that their tomb king? Who is, who is this? What is this? Oh, Carrion fighting Carrion. Nice. Carrion on Carrion battle. So they have spawned their Ushapti. We don't even even hit our first level of uh, healing yet. Oh, there it is. There it is. Uh, might as well use that. I mean, it does nothing, but whatever. Okay. Please kill those chariots. Like, what are you waiting for? You're, you had one job. You have one job. Okay. Take out the chariots. Our strong flank. Uh, we're gonna do this. My will be done. Okay. The chariot's pretty much toasted. Shapti, we're gonna put, where should we put them? Right, maybe, right there. That's a good spot for them. Shop here making very short work of these skeleton warriors. Tomb King. Our Tomb King is holding up fairly well against uh, their Tomb King. Alright, let's, uh, we gotta start attacking. I don't know why my Tomb Guard is struggling against. I have no idea why my tomb guard is struggling so poorly, or so badly against them. Um, just regular old um, spearmen, but I'm gonna try and change that if we can. Do that. Send our carrion versus their carrion. For sure. Okay. Nice. Okay, good. So. We did take some pretty brutal losses, but we are going to win this. But I mean, it was fairly evenly matched. He did catch me up a little bit there. But the Tomb Guard... Ooh, that one set of Nahek Horror Wars, 174 kills. That is nice. But, ugh. Just lost a lot of 
I like losing units. I mean, I'll take high casualties, but losing the full unit is annoying. You lose all their experience, chevrons, and all that, so. But. Not too bad. I mean, he was a little overzealous. He got excited. Thought he could, you know, make a name for himself, and yet. Didn't work out for him. <laughs> By the way, I hope you're all having a good day. Uh, I'm having a decent day. Like I said, a little tired, but that's fine. Not a big deal. Our beautiful land is besieged on all sides, but we resist like our fathers did before us. We will emerge victorious and more intractable than ever to those turbulent to these turbulent times. When our corrupt brothers come to ravage our shores, we are Asur, the sons of Anarian, and Ulthuan shall never fail. Gotta respect the High Elves, but at the same time, they're they're, they're a little bit much sometimes. Um, how much gold? That's a good. That's a healthy chunk of gold. Let's get the gold because. Um, we're going to be sitting here recruiting anyway. So we're going to recruit, level up our lord and hero, and then... Ooh. Oh, God. Um, public order minus eight. Yeah, oh, public order. I thought it was growth. Okay, that's fine. Order, it's fine. My master will return. This guy, Remect. Let's give you. Let's start upgrading your army as well. Now we go. And we will give you your carrion back. And your Nehakarian warriors back. And you'll be at full strength in one turn. Wow! That's crazy. As part, as I, uh, I, <laughs> that's crazy. Um, and then, I forgot to upgrade you, Senutep. Uh, let's do Earthing as well. Don't like the miscast. And then, uh, let's. Hmm. Sixth Dynasty is where we want to go, but let's uh, let's continue to unlock heroes for right now, since they're free. Might as well. Uh, strong Ushapti Carver, nice. Let's get the Ushapti Carver. Is my and then we'll just use him to to kind of scout, you know, scout about. I'll move in life. My work is incomplete. And then two turns left before we can upgrade Wizard Caliph's Palace. Long time yet before we can upgrade Al Haik. And all right, that'll do it. Well, thank you very much, guys. I'm gonna we're gonna call it here. I'll set an ambush in case Setra tries something funny. I don't think he will, but. Um, thank you all for joining me. We made good progress this uh, this round. We uh, we successfully fended off the Bretonians and the Dwarfs. Um, they will be a a problem again in time. Say like that. I mean, could have attacked them and taken care of that. But uh, I'm hoping that uh, within the next several turns, we will be able to uh, build a. What exactly is it called? A scorpion nest. And we'll have uh, a bunch of uh, tomb scorpions ready for us. And then, once we have a bunch of tomb scorpions, you just go and smack around the dwarfs because they have a very hard time dealing with the tomb scorpions. But that is for hopefully next time, maybe the time after. Uh, until then, thank you very much for watching and have a good day. Alright, bye.